There's a very interesting book published a number of years ago by a guy called Peter Brook called The Empty Space. It's about theatre. And Peter Brook's uh, career has been peppered with extraordinary productions which have changed the face of contemporary theatre in all kinds of ways. Uh, and he, he said in this book, it's about 25 years or maybe, that he is committed to making theatre the most powerful experience it can be. And so he says, to, to do that, we have to be clear what it is. And to answer his own question, he performs a sort of thought experiment where he says, what's the irreducible minimum in a theatre experience? What can you take away and still have it? So he says, you know, you can take away you know, the curtains, the costumes, you can take away the script. A lot of theatre is not scripted. Yeah, the director. You don't need directors for theatre, you don't need the stage, actually you don't need the building. All you really need is an actor. It can be outdoors, in a clearing or in a car park. You just need an actor uh, in a space and somebody watching. And it's the somebody watching that makes it theatre. The, the actor performs a drama, theatre describes the relationship between the audience and the performance. So theatre is a relationship word. And he said it's that relationship that we should focus on and we shouldn't add anything to it if it diminishes it or gets in the way of it. So his focus is always on the skills of the actors and deepening their understanding of the process and the response that they're trying to engage with the, with the audience. Well, the analogy for me with education is very powerful because the, uh, the role at the heart of education, there are students. I mean, if there were no students, then there would be very little point having the system, would it, really? If the place was just full of administrators, then they'd all be sitting around you know, playing on their uh, candy crush things. You know? But um, it, the fact that there are students in the system is what this is all about. And, and we have to remember that. The role of education is to help students to learn. And the people who do that are not the policy makers or the superintendents. It's the teachers who do that. So the heart of education is the relationship between teachers and learners. That's what it's about. And everything else should be focused on making that the best relationship possible. And the problem is that over time, all kinds of things have got in the way of it. You know, testing regimes, league tables, uh, you know, unions, bargaining rights, building codes, professional um, identities, uh, the concerns of various pressure groups the ideology of various political parties. And it's very easy for people to spend all day discussing education without mentioning the students at all. You know, we end up talking about data and league tables and testing and budgets. But all of this is a complete waste of everybody's time if we forget that our role is to help students learn. And therefore the question is, so what should they learn and how, how do we best do that? But all the great education systems, all the great schools know that. It's why they invest so heavily in the selection of teachers, why they insist on getting people who don't just have good degrees, even if they have them at all. Uh, they want people who know their material, but they also know that teaching depends upon a whole set of pedagogical skills and, and a love of the process. And uh, it, it's more than the transmission of direct content. It's about having a set of skills that are focused on facilitating learning.